Here is the anatomy of the shoulder. If you were looking at someone with their back facing you, this would be their left shoulder. As you can see, the tricep and the deltoid on the top. I'm going to run through the rotator cuff complex, which is a group of muscles that are in charge of rotating your shoulder internally and externally. For external rotation, we have the infraspinatus, the teres minor, and the teres major. On the anterior or front facing aspect, we have the supraspinatus and subscapularis. The subscapularis is the main muscle in charge of internal rotation. The first movement I'm going to show you involving this complex is called the prone I, Y, and T. We're going to get down in a prone position, basically an army crawl. Uh, my forehead is facing flat on the ground and my arms are coming straight out to my sides. Here I'm going to now retract my arms back, really firing up those rear delts and a little bit of the lats. I'm going to move up into a Y position, then come down for a rest, and then come up into that I position, and then back through. So I, Y, T, back up, T, Y, I. Do five repetitions. Let's do three, two to three sets of this, really focusing on the squeeze we get uh, in our rear delt. Great movement, great exercise. Here's another variation of the I's, Y's, and T's. This time I'm standing and I'm using a resistance band. Very similar mechanics, but we're no longer on the ground and we're using a resistance to help us. As you can tell, I'm retracting just as in the prone position, moving through that same movement. Again, I'm gonna go five to six repetitions. One repetition is an I, Y, and T all the way through. And then we're gonna reset and maybe do two sets of that and finish it off with a nice handstand. Why not? Hey, not bad. Here's another view of the shoulder girdle and the rotator cuff. So here we're looking at external rotation. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Here we go. So this movement right here we just performed is called internal rotation. And now I'm going to show you external rotation. That's where the muscles I've highlighted are going to be coming online. Again, muscles act as pulleys. So we're going to pull our shoulder away from the midline, rotating away. Again, that's external rotation. Here I'm going to show you how to perform external rotation with a resistance band. You're going to get in a position roughly 90 degrees um, from the band and you're going to pin your elbow to your side. You could even put a pillow or a foam block in between your elbow and your body just to keep that, that elbow in position. And then just like the animation, you're going to rotate your arm using your rear delt and rotator cuff muscles to pull the band away from you. Again, keeping that elbow tight. Great movement. I'm gonna show you a couple variations here just because the external rotators stabilize the shoulder joint and that is what we need. I'm gonna grab the band, do a little funky dance. Um, so I want your palms facing up, thumbs are pointing to the side. And we're basically just going to, keeping our elbows tight, squeeze our shoulder blades back and again, r externally rotate away from the midline, really feeling the rear delt and the muscles of the back kind of come online and fire. Here you can see my scapulas kind of moving towards each other. Oh yeah, very nice. Here I'm gonna show you internal rotation. So as you can see, I'm in a similar position to external rotation, the band is now on the opposite side so that I can pull towards the midline, internally rotating my shoulder. We're gonna perform this motion roughly 10 to 12 repetitions, two to three sets, again, focusing on the squeeze at the end of the movement. 